I was hauling equipment for a guy when I was home tr from trucking with my truck. Yeah. Helping him out. Uh, the guy, uh, he never paid me, and I never asked him to. He was a friend of mine. He wanted uh, he wanted help. I wanted a truck. I made him an offer. He said, no way. I said, haul your own equipment. I said, y you could do it then on your own. You don't need me. And he said, I'll sell you a truck for 800 bucks. We shook hands. I gave him cash and took it home. So that experience with your son, I mean, how was that? Priceless. Priceless? How about you? It was a fun time trying to just do everything. It was? Yeah. No, that's great, man. That's cool. I don't know that many 14 year olds. Ass off. Yeah, he deserves it. So when you say this is his truck, it's his. That's his. Everything's his. You no. can have it. You know, I love it. You know, when we think about the newer generation and you see a lot of these kids just on the phones and that's all they're doing. Yeah. You know, I, I see this young man right here, you know, just getting down and dirty you know making it happen i mean that's I, what I, it's all about for him that's great man so when you grow up where you want to be I asked my man, I said, hey, can we do a little highlight? And he says, well, it wasn't just me. How old is your son, sir? 14. 14 years old, and he helped you build this right here? Absolutely. Man, you know, uh, please introduce yourself, sir. I'm John Jones uh, from Dickens, Iowa. You know, this is Jake. We started on this truck in March. In March? Yeah. You know, wow. It's come a long way. Yeah, not bad for a new hundred dollar truck. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. I might have to get your number later, and we're gonna have to see some pictures. Oh yeah. So when did you buy the truck? Uh, fifteen years ago. So fifteen years ago? Yeah. For eight hundred dollars. For eight hundred bucks. What's the story behind that? I was hauling equipment for a guy when I was home tr from trucking with my truck. Yeah. Helping him out. Uh, the guy, uh, he never paid me, and I never asked him to. He was a friend of mine. He wanted. Uh, he wanted help, I wanted a truck. I made him an offer, he said, no way. I said, haul your own equipment. I said, you could do it then on your own, you don't need me. And he said, I'll sell you a truck for 800 bucks. We shook hands, I gave him cash and took it home. 800 bucks, wow. So, well, the truckers, uh, there's no way in hell you're ever gonna get a truck like this for $800. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that right now. But, you know, that, that just shows when you do things out of the kindness in your heart and you do things with friends. That's it. And we just try to help each other. Absolutely. Sometimes something great comes out. So when did you decide 15 years ago and then you decide to build it now? What was that thought process? Uh, I don't know. I uh, I grew up riding a cab over to this like this. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ride this for him and I to do it. He said he was in and uh, it's just been a thrash ever since. That's great. So let's walk this like DOT. Tell us. What have you done to your cab over? Uh, this truck was green when we brought it home. Everything was green. The visor was green. This was painted silver. Uh, top to bottom, front to back, everything except the engine transmission. Really? Yep. It, uh, everything else is uh, original, factory. What year is this? 1982. 1982. Wow. You know, so let's walk around. Let's walk around. Point around. Let us know what you've done. You know, we got to highlight stuff. Started with the bumper. Grill. He took all the paint off of the visor and grill. He took all the paint off of the whole truck. Uh, and we started from there. I mean, it had split rims on it. It had steel in the back. It had aluminum split, split Alcoas up front. The tanks looked like they'd been in the bottom of an ocean. <laughs> These wheels uh, we bought from uh, a junkyard. He started with 40 grit sandpaper, worked his way to 800. Wow. And then polished. Uh, we built all the exhaust bracket. A friend of ours in Rock Valley, Iowa, built the intake, the deck plate, the rear light panel, tank straps. Uh, these were some fenders a friend of mine had. He gave them to me. And everything was in the house. We did it all in our shop. Look at that exhaust. You know, I've seen something very, uh, my buddy Leroy, he had something very similar to this on his cab over. Um, tell us about this exhaust system and and why does it look like that? Uh, we just put the duals up. We had to have the, up, the upright to hold it. 
uh, the intake, it had a snorkel intake on it. We put the hi hat on top because it looks cooler. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, and uh, I had to put a little piece of my Peterbilt in, so I cut a grill down, made a grill for the back of the cab. <laughs> Is that right here? Yeah. Well, everybody's got a Peterbilt grill laying on their shop, you know. Oh, yeah. So we just cut it down and made it fit. That's great, brother. And so, starting with $800 and some hard work and some friends giving you some extra uh, parts. I mean, at the end, how much did you end up spending? Uh, we probably put maybe 10 grand in this truck. It's Are you serious? Top end. That's really? Very top end of things. That's so great. Eight to 10. So, that experience with your son, I mean, how was that? Priceless. Priceless? Uh, how about you? It was a fun time trying to do everything. It was? Yeah. No, that's great, man. That's cool. I don't know that many 14 year olds. Ass off. Yeah. He deserves it. So when you say this is his truck. It's his. That's his. Everything's his. You no. can have it. You know, I love it. You know, when we think about the newer generation and you see a lot of these kids just on the phones and that's all they're doing. Yeah. You know, and I, I pray for the future. And then, you know, I pray for the future. And then, you know, I, I see this young man right here, you know, just getting down and dirty you know making it happen i mean that's I, what I, it's all about for him that's great man so when you grow up what you want to be truck driver hey, just, uh, there it is there it is there it is folks i love that so is there a chance we can check the interior absolutely how much manpower does it take to check out the engine usually uh open yeah that's a pan of wood <laughs> <laughs> oh move your bag jake oh uh, no worries Let's see what we can get here. Let me hold this up. Look at it's that. It's all the same color as the outside of the truck. All the painting, everything you did, all in-house, huh? In-house, yep, in our shop. That's great. How'd you get into trucking, sir? I rode around in a truck with my dad from the time I was born. Uh, when I was 16, the guy he worked for gave me a chance to drive truck. I drove truck a little bit. Maybe I wasn't old enough. Maybe I was, and uh, it just started from there. I mean, it started out. I was a company driver, and I, uh, my dad and I bought a couple trucks. Uh, I drove one. He stayed at his job, and I just progressed from there. Started buying trucks and then building them. You know, so to date, uh, how many years of trucking experience do you have, sir? Twenty-five. Twenty-five years, and to date, how many trucks have you built? Four. Wow, that's great. That's, you know, it's amazing. Most people don't get an opportunity to do stuff like that, especially yeah. you being able to do it with your son. That's, that's that really is just the best, right? Yep. Um, for new truck drivers out there with your 25 years experience, for people like your son right here going to come into the business one day, uh, what's the best advice you can give them? Work hard. Uh, anybody can uh, make it work in the trucking business. You just have to. Uh, have a little faith in it and uh, keep your head up. It, times get tough, and when it's tough, you got to keep digging, keep working. All that. No, that, that's it right there. All day. No, that's great. You know, uh, no, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. No, thank you.